How's everybody doing out there? Welcome to Soul Beat. None other than we have in the studios, we got Lenny Williams, former singer of Tower of Power. Of course, he went solo. But if everybody's not familiar with Lenny Williams, we're going to tell you a lot about it. So we're going to give you a lesson in some of this old school funk. Also, his brand new latest release is called Chill. We're going to talk about that. Lenny, thank you for coming through, man. My pleasure. Yeah, Lenny Williams. Hey, everybody doesn't know, but you're from Oakland, right? You're from the Bay Area, right? Yeah, I went uh, all the way from kindergarten all the way through college right here in Oakland. Uh huh. Some uh, actually, you went to Roosevelt, right? Junior high. Went to Roosevelt Junior High. Went to uh, Fremont High School. Oh man. And uh, went to Merritt College, Old Merritt over on Grove Street. Uh huh. And you were with like a legendary group called the Tower of Power. They're originally based out of Oakland, Berkeley area. They had hits like What Is Hip, Clever Girl, Bump City, and you were a part of that. Uh, why don't you tell me about those? early days with Tower Power recording with them and how you hooked up with them? Well, actually what had happened, Larry Graham, who um, was the bass player for Sly and the Family Stone, him and I uh, had a studio together and we wrote a lot, of, a lot of songs. And so we were sitting around one night, we said, well, we need some horns on these songs. So we called up this band uh, that had been called the Motown Soul Band. But uh, so they came over and we put some uh, horns on our music. And then eventually they became Tower Power and uh, one time they were having some problems with a singer that they had and they called me to kind of fill in and so I just like uh, started and just never never stopped for a while. Oh man and you know we heard a song a little earlier you heard the music it was called What Is Hip uh, you know right, right in the very beginning you did that with them you also had another song called Below Us All The City Lights mm -hmm. right which is a classic song and it's from an album called Back To Oakland we're gonna review all of Tower Power's albums kind of and if you can tell us about those albums you know that'd be much appreciated we want you to give us a call too we're also gonna play a video by Lenny Williams called Here's A Ticket but if you wanna call us call us now we're live on the air with Lenny Williams it is 553-1137. That is 553-1137. Call right now and let Lenny Williams know how much you like his music, how much you were influenced by Tower of Power, or how much you like the music. And, uh, man, actually, we should go to some of these albums right now, man. You know what I mean? Okay. Check this out. Check this out. Okay? All right. Yeah. We got, we got this particular album, which is called... Um, Lenny Williams, you did this right when you left Tower Power, No, right? actually I was uh, still in Tower Power when I did that record. It was produced by uh, Gene McDaniels who wrote uh, 100 Pounds of Clay. Oh yeah. And uh, wrote uh, Feel Like Making Love for Roberta Flack. Oh yeah, Feel yeah. Like Making Love. That yeah. was a hit right there. Yes, indeedy. And uh, also you said you were down with Larry Graham. He was with Sly and the Family. So how right. much recording did you do with him? Oh, we did a lot. That's actually Larry's first album on Warner Brothers. I'm singing all over that, that record. Yeah, we did it right in his house. Oh, man. Uh -huh. he's, a good, he's living in Jamaica now? And Larry lives in Jamaica. He's uh, Eddie Murphy's uh, musical director right now. Eddie Murphy? Yeah. Brother Nutty Professor Eddie Murphy? Yeah. Oh, man. Tell me about this particular album called Sleeping Beauty, right? Now, that's an album I did right after I left Tower Power, and I did that on Motown label. Uh, Chester Thompson, who is the... Um, uh, yeah. keyboard player with uh, Carlos Santana uh, helped me produce that record there. He is also a uh, keyboardist for Tower Power, yeah, he right? He was keyboard player for Tower Power for years and he's been with uh, Carlos now, I guess about 10 years now. And you're also using uh, some of the Tower Power horns in here, right? Steve Kupka. Yeah. The Getting doctor, back together right. with them. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, man, I got to tell you right now that a lot of people, especially when we talk about Bay Area soul funk, we're influenced by you and Tower Power. And I got to say, if you want to call, once again, phone lines are open at 553-1137, 553-1137. Give a shout out to Lenny Williams. And uh, this particular album we got here is called uh, Choosing You, right? Right. Now, that's an album I did uh, for um, ABC Records and had a lot of people, interesting people play on that record. Had uh, Ray Parker Jr. and uh, let's see, I think... Um, Angela Winbush, maybe. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah she. Quite uh, a few people, yeah. Angela Winbush, she ended up marrying uh, Ronald Isley Ronald from the Isley, Isley Brothers. I think she wrote uh, In Between the Sheets uh, and all that stuff for him. Yeah, she's a great writer. Also, she was a part of Renee and Angela, right? Renee and Angela. And uh, Stevie Wonder actually discovered her in um, uh, Washington, D.C. and brought her out to California. And you got Ollie Brown in here. Ollie uh, Brown, yeah. And uh, uh, also uh, Gregory Philigaines, who was uh, with uh, Earth, Wind & Fire at one time, right? Actually, Greg Philigaines is uh, Michael Jackson's uh, musical director. Oh, is that right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. Boy, we're, man, we're going back in time, Back man. in the days, go, yes. Going back in time. Well, you know what? Um, we should go to your video just so everybody knows, you know, what you're all about and some of the great music that you produce. So, um, you know, we got Rockefeller up in here. He's producing this bad boy. But once again, if 
you want to give us a call right now, you can at 553-1137. I'm G-Spot. we got Lenny Williams here. He's a former singer of Tower of Power. And uh, Rock Skate, can we go to, can we, can we do this video? Hey, wait, wait, before you go to it, tell me about it, man. Here's a ticket. Where was it filmed, Dad? How'd you come up with it? Actually, it was filmed in Los Angeles, but Larry White uh, wrote the song, and he was um, in a group called Collage that's from the Bay oh, yeah. Area. And also, uh, Larry White was uh, Bobby Brown's musical director and wrote a quite, quite a few songs on Bobby Brown's uh, hit album, Prerogative, and things like that. Oh, man, okay. And uh, you're going to see the video right here on Soul Beat. We'll be back with Lenny Williams, so don't go nowhere, all right? Just stick around. Once again, phone lines are open at 553-1137. Go. Teardrops falling from your eyes and oh, I know something's wrong, baby. Tell me it all because I want to be. 